Hello, it's Dawn Cornell from Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. You probably didn't recognize me with this big old mask on. I'm not going to rob a bank or anything. I'm here to tell you about what's new in the shop this week. We've got things coming in all the time and we are excited to show you guys exactly what it is that you can see when you come into the shop that's new. So we're going to start out with this new collection from Michael Miller. Can you scan down here, Peter, so they can see it? It's called Oh Happy Day. Look how happy it is. Now when I say happy, I mean this is happy stuff. We're always happy to uh, cut uh, fat quarter bundles if you have to have one of each. That's a doable thing. We have some fat quarters here cut already. But if you're anything like me and you want to collect this collection, you have to have one of each. That's the way I am. Now, if you're not feeling really, really so happy and you kind of got the blues, well, we've got you covered with that too because this whole collection from Moda just came in and it's appropriately called the blues. Guess what color it is? Blue, you're right. It's a large collection. Again, we'll cut a fat quarter bundle for you. Just call Jennifer. Uh, visit our website. You can see all these on our website. It's alwaysinstitches1.com. Is that right, Peter? Okay. Isn't that nice? I just love this collection. A lot of small prints. A lot of good backgrounds. The beiges are just scrump delicious. I love those. I love these just plain backgrounds that would just go with any color right here. This one just has a little sprinkling of the blue and then we've got all kinds of small little prints. I think this is supposed to represent like a music staff. So like the blues, the songs from that era, that type of music. I think that's kind of where they were going, not really feeling like you're blue and down in the dumps. We don't need any of that. Go back to the happy fabric for that, if you're feeling that way. Now we're going to go through this way, and I'm going to show you a couple other uh, collections. We've got this. Forget what it's called. Let's see. Woodland Songbird. Isn't it pretty? Now this is really a soft, muted grays and teal colored colorway. I just love it. It's really soft, pretty. It could go for a baby quilt. A lot of people are using gray in their nurseries right now. And uh, so this would make a beautiful baby quilt. Then right next to it, we've got something for the boys. This is called doo -doo 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 -doo, astronauts. So fellas, Little boys, big boys, anybody who loves space, this would be a nice collection for you. Down here, this is for the crazies, like me. This is have fun, stay something. Have fun, stay. That's all we got on the label. But isn't it cute, all these little funny characters? I bet your kids would know what these characters are, but I have no clue. Oh, there's a zebra and an octopus, but what are these? You think they're cats and bunnies? They've got masks on, oh my gosh, look, they're ready for COVID, and <laughs> they've got masks on, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and then if you'll follow me this way, I'll take you to a little bit more uh, new stuff that just came in. We've got these beautiful florals. They're Robert Kaufman, I think. Hoffman, sorry, they're Hoffmans. You know how luscious their fabrics are. So from here over, beautiful florals, all the colors of fall, just perfect for this time of year. This kind of looks a little oriental to me. Just beautiful. Okay, and then last but not least, we've got some batiks in. I know you ladies that love your batiks will be excited about these. Look at the colorways. A beautiful green and orange. 
kind of a turquoise. This purple and blow your mind pink is really fun. Here's a couple serious prints in the blues. Love that. Just show them our batik line of fabrics. This whole section is nothing but batiks. I tell you, the girls who do the ordering of the fabric here, fabulous. They just, they cover all the genres. We have Christmas fabric, we have Halloween fabric, um, we have winter fabric, all kinds of stuff. I'm so excited about it. So come in, see what's new. Uh, we're going to go to another section now. So we're going to turn off and then come back on as soon as we get to that section. Okay, now we're in the notion section of the shop and these just came in hot off the press. If you are an applicator and you need the perfect circle, these metal rings, there's two different sizes. You get both sizes in the same package, but these are for applicating circles. And what they are is they're heat resistant, so you wrap your fabric around them and then you press, you can starch while you press, you can steam, whatever you wanna do, it doesn't hurt the metal. And then it makes the perfect circle and then you can applique it onto your project. They kinda of look like earrings, don't they? Well, maybe not. Okay, so those are the newest things there called Apla Pops. Apla Pops for your circles when you applique. Now, if you haven't been in our Notion section for a while, we've, got, we've restocked a lot of things. This is our crochet, um, filet crochet, or any of those fancy small doilies that everybody loves to do, or tatting. We just restocked this. We've got all kinds of foundation paper. We have cake mix papers. The possibilities are endless. You take a, a, a cake mix, a 10 inch square, and you can create all these different designs and blocks with these uh, foundation pieces, paper pieces. We have a huge selection of scissors. Well, the notion section just goes on and on. Peter, can you show them all the way around? We've got all kinds of marking tools, any kind of needle you would ever possibly want. Sewing machine needles, straight pins, safety pins, clips, thimbles. Oh my goodness. It's notion paradise here at Always in Stitches. Check out this yo-yo pillow. Do you know why this yo-yo pillow is in the Notions booth? Because look, we have a whole collection of how to do yo-yos with these gadgets. And next week, I'm going to come on and I'm going to show you how to use these. They make making yo-yos so easy, such a snap. And they come in all sizes. I mean, right here is four different sizes of yo-yos. But it, doesn't that make just the sweetest little pillow? I love that. And then we have gadgety things. Come on over here. We've got kits. We've got little gadgety things. We've got marking tools, little tins full of goodies. So that's what's new. Don't forget, we've got Apple Pops for you in stock. And that's what we have new in the Notions department. Now I'm in the book department. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe how many books have come in this, next, this week. First, though, I want to tell you about this lady who came into the shop. And Peter caught her with her quilt. And it was a Bargello. Oh, it was so beautiful. I hope you all got to see that. If not, go back in the archives on the website and you'll be able to find it. 
But here's our Bargello book that we have. And it's just full, full of patterns. You'll want to check that out, I'm sure. And then we're really getting into this paper piecing with this Nebula program that uh, Tula Pink has. And so everybody's trying paper piecing and it's such a fun thing. So we thought, well, we're going to get some books and we also got all the templates in. Well, I don't know if we got all the templates in the whole world that have to do with English paper piecing, but we got a, quite a few. So come in and check that out. Here's some English paper piecing book. And I'm sure we'll be getting a lot more of that in. And then over here is the school, school, <laughs> I can't talk today, school girl sampler. This is a, a book that has 72 simple four inch blocks. Oh my goodness, 72 four inch blocks. You could arrange them however you want. You could make little quilts out of all of the same block, or you could make a nice big sampler, like it's on the cover here. How fun is that? Now, personally, I love small blocks. So this is, when this first came in, I gobbled one up right away. So that's at home on my uh, sewing table, getting ready to uh, gather some fabric. So you can see we have a big selection. We have another uh, rack of books over here. Down here on the bottom row are some of our newest ones. Look at this, the big book of baby quilts. Boy, if you bought this, you could do quilts forever for babies. 87 patterns, 87. Do you have that many grandchildren, 87? No, I don't, I don't have any grandchildren. I just have schnauzers, so. Make sure when you stop by to take some time and look through our book section. It's pretty fun. Okay, get ready. I hope you're sitting down because the wool department has exploded. We have rearranged to make more room. We took out the couch, put in a little chair so you have still a place to sit and rest if you need to or just reflect on this beautiful wool department. But what we've done is we've taken the patterns off the wall and we've added these uh, shelving units or whatever, these towery things, whatever you want to call them. And that's what we're going to start putting the patterns on. These are our kits so far. Remember, the wool department is still pretty new here at Always in Stitches. We have a few kits that we're really proud of uh, that we're starting to get those in. But look at this. Look at all the patterns that we have. Is this exciting? I am so excited about this. Look at this witch. She's new. I know she's new. Isn't that cute? Heart to hand. Clothesline witch. Now there's an, another set of new ones that, yes, Rebecca's patterns. I love, this is going to be my next wool project right there. It's a pocket that hangs on the wall. Used to be really popular in colonial days. Look at this though. Pretty ornaments. Love that. So Rebecca's patterns, uh, new to the shop. But let's go over here and look at this. This is the new sample wall. Isn't it just beautiful? So much inspiration here. And we pretty much have all the holidays covered. Here's like a seashell table mat. So it's not just Christmas and Halloween. We've got every day. This is the cute banner. Oh, that owl is fun. He's ready for winter. Got his scarf, his hat. Scan on down and see what else we have. Are you catching it all, Peter? Okay, the ornament tree. There's a book of ornaments that just came in not too long ago. 
And here's a new Christmas in the Country book that has a little bit of everything. It has ornaments. It has little baby quilts. Holiday quilts and farmhouse flair, it says. So, you know, this is just a temptation when I show you the cover. You have to come in to look at what's inside. We had so many samples that we had to uh, expand the whole place just so we could hang up the samples. <clears throat> so lots of eye candy. Here's the ornament book I was telling you about. If you could get a picture of that, Peter, that'd be great. <clears throat> Then I know that Peter's been putting things on Facebook, on our Facebook page, about our needle punch. Uh, here's a new sample that we just got in. We're going to have a sample of this in pretty quick because I've almost got that one done. The little black hen, so adorable. Nice small projects that go really fast. And again, we have all the supplies that you need to get started with the needle punch. So that's the new, I'm not going to say this is what's new, I'm going to say this is the new wool department. How exciting. Come in and visit us. We'd love to see you. Okay, I've moved over to the embroidery section of the store. We've got in these new dish towel kits, and they are so fun. Look at this. Fresh picked. The kit comes with everything. It comes with the rickrack on the bottom, comes with the towel, comes with the pattern. The kits look like this. Comes with the floss. This is hugs and kisses. If you start working on this now, you'd have it done by uh, Valentine's Day to give to your best friend. I hope my best friend is watching this. Hugs and kisses. Love that. We're getting several of those in, so look for those in the next few days. If you love pre-printed cross-stitch panels, here's a new one. We'll be at the cross-stitch section here pretty quick. But I wanted you to see what's new in the, oh, look at this one. Here's some more of those. This one says, hello, spring. Some more of those tea towels. And this baby, it's cold outside with the mittens. Is that a sheep? Do I see a sheep? You do see a sheep here in the hello, spring. Look at this chicken. <laughs> Looks like he's sitting on a hard-boiled egg and he's scared to death. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is so cute. That is so cute. We have a nice selection of books here in the embroidery department. Some of the most famous uh, embroiderers from Australia, from all around. Here's a Kathy Schmitz. So beautiful. All the things that she makes. I love to do embroidery. I don't get a lot of time to do it because I'm Spending my time these days on wool and uh, needle punch. Oh, if you stand just perfect and don't move, it looks like you're wearing that witch hat behind you. Are you kidding me? Uh -uh. Should I let out a witch laugh? <laughs> 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 okay, so that was appropriate, right? Appropriate. Or m maybe inappropriate. Perfect. Okay, well that's what's new in the embroidery department. I'm in the cross stitch department now and we have expanded and things are really hot and happening in this department. This is one of our newest patterns, Welcome Home. It is very vintage to me. Peter says he's going to buy the pattern just to get the buttons. Let me show you just how beautiful this is. I'm going to flip it over and look at those buttons. They really look vintage, don't they? Oh, sorry, do I have a glare? Yeah. Okay. 
and it's stitched on this ivory linen so beautiful all very subtle ecru kind of tan to ecru I love that but here in the uh, department whenever you come in we have this section right here that's look at what's new guess what this is where we put the new stuff doesn't that make a lot of sense so there's a lot of new patterns to come in and uh, drool over they're so pretty oh my goodness what are these oh they're little floss biddies oh and they've got cute little designs on them oh I love those very cute some cute buttons I did cross stitch years ago and it has really come back into fashion I mean people are really getting into it and the patterns are so fresh and new they're they're so detailed I found a sheep one. Oh, you and your sheep there they are little baby sheep now I heard there was a couple new things that we couldn't fit in on the new look what's new table so if you'll follow me over here Peter Happy Easter. Now you would think that it's way, way far away, Easter. But when you're cross-stitching, time goes by fast. So if you started on this today, you might have it done by Easter. And then we've got a couple more way over here. Just follow me around. Look at what's around me. Fun stuff. These are so sweet. My favorite word in the whole world is grace. I love what it means. I love how it looks. And this, someone cross-stitched. Who, who cross-stitched this, Peter? Nancy. Nancy, one of the girls who works here, cross-stitched that. Isn't that just beautiful? I love that. And then here's a sweet little alphabet sampler. And it's framed so clever with the fabric in the back and the little buttons on the corner. I love that. Here's the pattern. So, look at all this fabric we have. This is all cross-stitch fabric. Can you believe this? I mean, if you can't find it here, it doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure of that. Look at all this. Linens, Ada cloth, just look, uh, my favorite color just happens to be green. Look at how beautiful that is. Can they see it in the light? Uh -huh. I love that. A lot of people are stitching on this, what they call chalkboard black. See a lot of new patterns with this. And of course, we've got it here. 20, 28 count linen chalkboard block black excuse me and then of course you can't do cross stitch unless you have some notions so we have our cross stitch notions over here just a few of them oh we just got in these rusty nails and rusty safe pins those are so funny they go great with the wool projects they go fun with the primitive cross stitch projects I counted each one of those out, so if one package is short, come and find me. I'll help you out with that. But then we've got this just came in. I don't, I don't think it's a new thing. I just think it just came in. I think we've had them before, but now we've got a nice supply of them. That's a bobbin winder. Some hoops, some magnetic boards, you know, everything you ever want. When you begin to cross stitch, we've got here in the cross stitch department. So, on to the next department. Okay, here we are in the yarn department. Now, I'll tell you, I'll be very honest with you, I know nothing, zero, zippo, about yarn. I've knitted seven pairs of socks, and that is the extent of my yarn knowledge. And I had to have somebody show me how to do all seven pairs. But, 
I just heard that we got this new pattern in and Cindy, one of the employees here made it. They're called Better Dorm Boots. Everybody in the world needs a pair of these. They are so soft. They use this uh, Encore, th uh, I still wanted to call it thread because that's what I'm used to, yarn. And we have it in a lot of color choices. Cindy chose to put hers in this colorway. But look at this purple. Everybody loves purple. Well, maybe not everybody, but lots of people do. And then look at this sock yarn. Now see, that's beautiful, isn't it? Soft, oh my goodness, your feet would love to have a pair of socks like made out of these. All the new fall colors that we got in. Some more purple. I don't know what it is about yarn and purple, but it must go together really good. But that is some soft yarn. Then we've got this over here. And I'm not gonna say it, but you can read it. That's kind of like uh, hand dyed or something looking. Yes. Like watercolory. it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Very pretty. We got some new whatever that says. It's kind of nubbly. What do you, what would you knit with this? I'm working on a pair Peter. of socks right now. Oh, it's good for it. socks too? Super squishy. I love the way it feels. Oh, excellent. More Encore, right? Yep. More Encore. So this is where we keep our new yarns. Some of you probably didn't even know we carried yarn. Always in stitches. If you need it, we've got it. This is the department here. All little cubbies. This is a new pad. Well, may not be new pattern. We might have had this for a while, but Peter says it's fun to knit. He loves that. Now I'm going to take you one more place before we stop. And there's nothing new in this department. I'll tell you that right now. So follow me, Peter. This is our ever popular clearance section of the shop. This is where everybody comes first because if you want a bargain, this is the place to come. Like I said, nothing new here but lots and lots of bargains to be had. So if you're a bargain shopper, we've got you covered. I hope you have a nice day. Come and see me here at Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. It's been fun having the time, take time to be with you today. Bye-bye.